and we can't be denied because we're going to live forever with you through the salvation of Jesus Christ. Lord, be with us today and provide us with your supreme guidance and wisdom as we conduct the business of Rowan County. And as we pick up the cross, we will proclaim his name above all names as the only way to eternal life. I ask this in the name of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. Are we really supposed to jump through hoops and make changes to keep three or four people happy? Is it against the law to offend people? I came today to encourage all of y'all. understand if I got it right that you're under some heat because you pray in Jesus' name. When you took your oath to serve our community, you pledged to represent the entire community, not just those with whom you agree. The words separation of church and state do not appear in any official government documents. Ladies and gentlemen, this country was founded on Christianity. This country is not a Christian nation. And I want to thank God for our commissioners that believe in God and that believe in Jesus Christ and believe in prayer. If you're Christian, then you must pray in Jesus' name. A generic prayer? <laughs> That's a joke. In the last 10 years, there's a serious disease that has taken our country, and it's called political correctness. And I think uh, what's happening now in Rowan County is just an extension of that. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's been suggested that these commissioners who pray in Jesus' name are forcing their religion on others. That is not the case. I am appalled that you would consider wasting government money and taxpayer dollars on a losing battle over public prayer. Three separate courts have said sectarian prayer, whether by you or people you invite, violates the Constitution. I heard the prayer today, uh, Commissioner Barber, and you know, I didn't hear what church you belong to. So apparently you weren't trying to establish a church or religion. You just mentioned Jesus. As a person who believes in the love and power of God, and as a fellow citizen of Rowan County, I am saddened by your blatant disregard for our Constitution and by your intolerant attitudes. And I applaud y'all for refusing this mess with the ACLU on prayer. And because they, if they get it through y'all, they're going to be picking on us next. And I think it's going, it's going to have to stop here. I believe that it is truly freedom of religion and not freedom from religion. Wow. To you guys who turned out here to pray in the name of Jesus. I want you to know, I do not feel excluded in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I come here often. I come here often. And you guys are the most inclusive group of people I have ever met. The ones that are exclusive are the secular humanist bigots who want to squelch every representation of religion. I want anyone to tell me how the clear meaning of Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof can mean that the government can tell any person that they cannot pray in any way they want to. Sure, but if you want to find out what real concern is and how, peop how passionate people really feel, as an athlete, you get a pad out, pass it around, and ask for people's names, addresses, and how many hundreds of dollars they will put in, pledge, to pay the legal fees that we may encounter. Now, Chairman Mitchell has said that there are people lined up to pay those fees, but I'm just an old-fashioned, I guess you'd call me a fiscal conservative, truth but verify. I'd like to see their names on IOUs.